Hello everyone, welcome to High Voltage YouTube channel. Today video is regarding DC machines part 1. The DC machine can be classified into two types, namely DC generator and DC motor. DC generator is a rotating machine which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. When our conductor cuts the magnetic flux, an AMF will be generated based on the principle of Faraday's law electromagnetic induction. Whereas DC motor is a rotating machine which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. When our current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force whose direction is given by Fleming's left hand rule F is equal to B I L. Unit is Newtons. This machine has mainly two parts. First one is stator, second one is rotor. Not only DC machine, every rotating machine has stator and rotor. Let's see subparts of stator and rotor. Stator has yoke, field poles, field windings, interpoles, compensating winding, brushes. Whereas rotor has armature core, armature winding, commutator, shaft. Now we will see what are the functions of each part of DC machine. Let's start from yoke. Yoke is made up of cast iron for small DC machines and fabricated steel for large DC machines. Yoke has two functions. First one, it provides mechanical support to the whole machine. Second one, yoke handles half of the pole flux. Next one, field poles. It consists of pole core and pole shoe. Both pole core and pole shoe made up of cast steel. The following are the functions of the pole shoe. First one, to support the field winding, to reduce the magnetic reluctance, to spread out the flux to achieve uniform flux density. Next one is the field winding. Field winding is made up of copper. The next one is the interpoles. These are fixed to the yoke in between main poles of DC machines. The interpole winding consisting of few tons of thick wire is connected in series with the armature circuit. Next one is compensating winding. This winding is placed in pole shoe. The function of compensating winding is to neutralize the cross magnetizing effect of armature a reaction. Compensated winding is connected in series with the armature circuit. This winding however is used in large DC machines only. So next one brushes. Brushes are made up of carbon for small DC machines and electrographic brushes are used for large DC machines. The following are the functions of brushes. The function of brushes is carry the current to the armature conductors through the commutator. Now we will see some important objective bits on parts of stator of the DC machines. First one, which of the following rule is used to determine the direction of rotation of DC motor? A. Coulomb's law, B. Lenz law, C. Fleming's right hand rule. D. Fleming's left hand rule. The answer is D. Fleming left hand rule. Second question. Which of the following is not the function of pole shoe in DC motor? A. To reduce the eddy current loss. B. To reduce the reluctance. C. To spread out flux. D. To support the field coil. Answer is A. To reduce eddy current loss. Third question. The function of yoke in a DC machine. A. To provide mechanical protection. B. To reduce eddy current. C. Flux path completion. D. Both 1 and 3. The answer is both 1 and 
थ्री फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ब्रशेस ऑफ डीसी मशीन और मेड ऑफ ए कार्बन बी सॉफ्ट कॉपर सी हार्ड कॉपर डी ऑल ऑफ दी अबो द आंसर इज ए कार्बन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ए डीसी जनरेटर वर्क्स ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ए लेंस लॉ बी फ्लेमिंग्स लेफ्ट हैंड रूल सी फॉरडेस लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन डी नन ऑफ दी अबो द आंसर इज सी फॉरडेस लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन द योक ऑफ डीसी मशीन कैरीज डैश पोल फ्लक्स ए दी बी वन ऑफ ऑफ सी टू टाइम्स दी डी नन ऑफ दी एबो द आंसर इज बी वन हाफ ऑफ सेवंथ क्वेश्चन इंटरपोल्स और कॉम्पोल्स आर ए फिक्सड इन दी योक एंड स्पेसड इन बिटवीन द मेन पोल्स बी प्लेस टू बैलेंस दी और मेचर कोर सी बोथ वन एंड टू डी नाइदर वन और नॉर टू द आंसर इज ए फिक्सड इन दी योक एंड स्पेसड इन बिटवीन दी मेन पोल्स ए तो क्वेश्चन द इंटरपोल वाइंडिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स ऑफ थिन वायर्स B large number of turns of thick wire C small number of turns of thick wire D small number of turns of thin wire The answer is C small number of turns of thick wire Thank you for watching please like share to your friends subscribe my channel and press the bell icon then you will not miss my video notification